Hey everybody, it's Andy. I'm going to be going on my honeymoon pretty soon, and this is going to be one of my first times since the pandemic started where I'm going to be doing a true uh, one-bag travel trip over to another country. Um, in the past, I've done some trips in the U.S. Uh, usually they've all been places where I know I'm getting in a car or going to a destination. So even if I've gone with one bag, it's been a pretty light trip. Uh, and it hasn't been for a long time. This is going to be more than two weeks. So over here, I thought I would share everything I'm packing in my one bag and what my main strategies are for this trip. If you like content like this and want to see more, please smash the like button on YouTube, leave a comment below, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. If I get 100 likes on this video by the end of the weekend, I'll post a video on my wife's one bag and what she's going to be taking on the honeymoon as well. The bag I'll be taking is this Peak Design Travel Backpack. This is, um, for me, a bag that I've taken on a trip once before. And the thing that I really liked about this bag is on my back, it just felt lighter than most bags do. I had it packed up, but something about you know the, the, the way the straps are, the way the hip belt is, it just didn't feel as heavy on my back. It felt really comfortable. And I feel that I'm going to be able to take this bag around Europe pretty comfortably. Also, I have some of those... Uh, intercontinental flights over there that we only get like a 10 kilogram carry-on and this bag while a bit larger than some of the tolerances in some airlines i think i'm going to be able to um take it on smush it down or just have it on my backpack or on my back and get it through so what i'm going to be taking with me first i have here this uh hero clip this is the carry here uh hero clip carryology collab I'm just stuffing it here in the water bottle pocket um, on this side on the handle in case I need it. Uh, pretty easy to get to if I need it. I'm also going to be taking a water bottle, but I have that over in the dishwasher now, so you're not going to see that today. Looking in the front top of the bag, I have you know, just a, a chapstick. I think that it's pretty helpful to have those, and if you see my videos, you know that I like to keep one or two of those around. Going into the front compartment over here, uh, I don't have too much, but over here I have just a ton of masks. Um, I'm still trying to be very uh, COVID conscious, especially since this is the honeymoon. It'd be a shame if we got sick early on and had to spend uh, the latter bits in the hotel. In this uh, compartment over here, this is kind of silly, but I actually have this little, um, I, I guess it's like a, an anti-mold chip that came with the bag. I'm just leaving it in here because I don't want there to be any mold. In the pocket over here behind this mesh, I've got a few things. Uh, first off, I have my iPad mini, uh, easy to get to if I'm you know, on the flight and I wanna get it out. I have some pens in case I need to fill out anything. And then uh, my passport just sitting here. So easy, quick access stuff in case I need it. And that's all really for the front pocket. Closing that and going then to the back. Over here in the uh, laptop compartment, I just have some papers. Uh, this is where I'm keeping copies of my tickets, my itinerary, and if I need a photocopy of my passport, I'm just gonna have them nice in here. They're not gonna get bent up over in the laptop compartment. Over here in the main compartment, the first thing I have is what's gonna be my packed day pack. Uh, not necessarily the most compact, but if you watch my video on um, favorite packable day packs, or if you've seen any of my top 10 videos, you know I love my Tom Bin Synapse 19, and it really does pack you know, fairly flat. It fits in this bag pretty easily, and I'm not too worried about if I need to take this and use it as a personal item, or if I just need to take it around. Uh, it's going to be a pretty good fit, and it's very comfortable, so looking forward to using this. Over here, I have this Eagle Creek money belt. Uh, you know, they say that pickpockets might be a concern. I've tried wearing the thing around my neck, and I find that it, it kind of hurts my neck a little bit. But uh, a hip money belt uh, might be pretty good. I've noticed that a lot of the money belts on the market are, like, huge. And so this is one of the smaller ones I found. It should have enough room for everything I need. And something important in here, I have this uh, Charles Schwab debit card. And the reason why I'm mentioning that is because this is one of those where you can get a free checking account and the debit card reimburses all ATM fees. There's no ATM fees with this. And it works like that internationally. So if I'm going to be in Europe, I can get euros with this. When I was in Japan, I used this. I got some yen from uh, an ATM and there were no fees for me. 
And so I really like that. And that's what's in the mini belt right now. I also have my wallet and stuff in the wallet will end up in here later. Up next, I have my toiletry kit. This is the Travelon uh, Wet Dry 311. I like this because there is a wet side and a dry side, and it's easy for me to organize and keep things safe. Uh, I also here have some sticky notes that my uh, wife left for me on a previous trip. I like keeping those here because they remind me of her. Anyway, not too much of note in here, but the things I do want to mention, uh, over on the dry side, I have this uh, Quip toothbrush. Uh, this is one of those um, electric toothbrushes. It's not the strongest electric toothbrush, but it's better than just using a non-electric toothbrush, I find. And I like that it comes with this little stand that uh, keeps the bristles safe. I also have here, uh, this is a Philips Norelco uh, razor. I've I've tried a few smaller options. Uh, most notably, a lot of people recommend the Philips Norelco One Blade. I tried that out and it wasn't for me. Uh, this one runs on AA batteries. So if it needs a new charge, I'm not gonna have to worry about keeping a proprietary cable. AA battery is pretty universal around the world. So I'm not too worried about this. And then the last thing I wanna point out here is I got some pills over in one of these Tom Bid Pouchkins. These used to come with their first aid kit or that you could buy them with the first aid kit. And I just find that it's a great size for the, the pills that I need. Um, that's all of the you know exciting stuff over here. I have lotion, little toothpaste, sunscreen, deodorant, not, nothing too special on the other side. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. And we're gonna get over to my Tombin sidekick. Uh, this is the bag that contains most of the items I would carry with me on a given day. I basically took my sling that I was carrying and I took the items I wanted on my trip and I put them in the sidekick. Over here in the front pocket, I actually have another one of these pouchkins with pills uh, if I'm on the go and I want them, and another chapstick, uh, things that I would want with me on the go. Inside the main compartment here, I've got a few items. Uh, first, I have this Tombin uh, clear organizer wallet. It's the one with uh, multiple sections. And this is my travel wallet. This is what I'm gonna be putting my credit cards, my driver's license, whatever else I need in. Um, and I just have that attached here. I've got a pen, Pilot G2, a hand sanitizer, another little hotel lotion, my AirPods Pros attached to it. I like having it attached. I don't know why, it just feels nice. And then um, I have a Anchor power core, 10,000 milliamp hour battery, and an iPhone cable if I need to charge my phone um, during the day. So this is my everyday, uh, or my Tombin side effect, and I can attach it inside of the Tombin Synapse if I want, or I'm gonna keep it in here. And one thing about the uh, Peak Design bag is the sides open. So if I need to get access to it, I can keep it here and just uh, reach in, pull it out uh, when the bag is closed if I need it while I'm still traveling. Also, I have here, this is the Western Rise uh, Versa hat. My uh, in-laws got it to me for my birthday and it's, I'm looking forward to taking it traveling. I now have the, uh, the last three items here are my, starting over here, this is my boogie bag. Um, I managed to get one of these from the website. I got pretty lucky apparently. And I find that this is something where I keep uh, most of the items I like to take with me traveling that I just think are useful to have. I put them in the boogie bag so they're organized. Um, not surprising, in the front pocket, a chapstick and another pouch came with some pills. I have to refill this one. Um, just in case I need it. I am a bit redundant of those things because if I don't have my pills, I'm in trouble. Over in the main compartment here, I've got a few items. In this Tombin Ghost Whale, I have a pair of wired headphones. Uh, while I like the AirPods Pro, I think it might be nice to have some. And this is a, a Bose pair, they're noise canceling. And I have a headphone splitter in here as well as the cable lets me attach it to my iPhone. So just in case I need some headphones to plug in on a plane or something, I keep these over here. I've also got this Tombin pouch featuring the cables that I'll be bringing. I'm bringing two cables and they're both multi-cables. Uh, this first one here has USB-C on one side and charges the Apple Watch and the uh, Apple iPhone over here. So this is what I'll probably be using most nights. And the second cable is USB-C on one side and it has two of the Apple connectors, one USB-C and one of these mini USB. I don't think I have anything other than these headphones that use them in USB, but I figure why not just take these cables? I don't really need a, any dedicated cables and they just go in this pouch right here. 
The third pouch I have is another Tom Bin one. Uh, and over here I have two main things. I have this elastic band that I use uh, as a stretch band if I need to do some stretches. And I have this sleep mask if I need a sleep mask. And I never know about that. And it's certainly more comfortable for me than the ones that I might get um, on a plane or abroad. Uh, the other items I have in here, some more pens and this travel adapter from uh, the Road Warrior travel adapter. Uh, if I'm going to be in Europe, it has the EU options. And I believe that if you can like scrunch it to work in the UK with you know, the, the fancy thing, plug it in like that. It also does US and Australia. And overall, I just really like the uh, compact design. It's, it's nice and flat and it just fits in the pocket of the boogie bag right there. One more thing in the boogie bag uh, that's really important I forgot to mention is I have a power brick that I'm going to use to plug all those cables in and actually charge my items. This is a Bezos 65 watt brick. It has the uh, two USB-C and the USB-A. So I'll be able to plug in both of my cables and charge all of my devices off this one brick. And I've tried you know, putting it into the uh, adapter here and holding the adapter just by the bristles and it's able to stand up. So hopefully I'm not gonna have any problems having this big long thing sticking out of the walls. So those are all of the non-clothing items I'll be taking with me on the trip. Just gonna pack those back in here, zip it nice and easy. And with the buggy bag, I actually, I keep it face down. So if I wanna access through the uh, front of the bag, I can open that up without taking it out of the bag. So the Peak Design bag lets me do that. Moving over here, I then have two Peak Design packing cubes. I'm gonna move this out of the way and show you what I've got. In the smaller packing cube, I just have socks and underwear. Nothing special, these are Fruit of the Loom boxers. Uh, these are the uh, Wilson crew socks. Uh, I find for me, they're the most comfortable. But I also have these two uh, Merino wool socks that I got. Um, these are two pairs and hopefully I'll be able to wear them enough so that I don't get too stinky. And they're a bit tighter. I don't like using those while I sleep. I'm a monster. I wear socks while I sleep. Uh, so I have plenty of these in case I need them. Enough to last me until I have to do laundry. Finally, in the uh, big packing cube with all the clothing, uh, this isn't as organized as it's going to be finally. I added some items last minute, but I thought I'd show you what I'm taking. I've got uh, just some t-shirts first. This is just a t-shirt I got uh, actually from a fellow Karyology member in one of the Secret Santas. Um, nice to have a t-shirt. I have here, this is a mountain hardware, uh, just a, like a base layer, a lightweight uh, quarter zip long sleeve. I think that this is, uh, it's important to layer up when you're going one bag. So this is a nice light one. I can either wear it over something or I can wear it under something. Similarly, I have this uh, Columbia. This is their like, Omni heat to make your own heat style. This is some uh, a, a base layer for the, the legs, goes under pants. I have here a uh, merino wool sweater. Uh, this is from Uniqlo. I actually got this a while back. I haven't used it in a while, um, but it's something warmer that I can wear over some of the other stuff. This right here is the Western Rise. Uh, this is their collared shirt, long sleeve. So merino wool over here, if I need something to look nice, I can wear this and I will be pretty happy. A pair of pajama pants, just uh, pajama pants, nothing special there. Another t-shirt, uh, this is a uh, Ranger Roll. I have two of the Topo Design Merino Wool shirts. The blue one is a t-shirt, the black one is long sleeve, and they're rolled up. They have a little red strap to keep them rolled up. And then I have two pairs of pants. This is a uh, Mountain Hardware um, pants. I like this one because it has zippers over all the pockets. That's useful. And then this is probably my favorite pants. It's the uh, Piranha Stretch Zion. And so I can wear this. And overall, they're, they're not like super casual. They're not super professional. And they're pants that I can wear all the time. In addition to these items, I'll be wearing a jacket. I think I have a, a North Face bio something or another. And that's pretty much everything I'm going to be taking with me on my honeymoon. If you like content like this and want to see more, please smash the like button on YouTube, leave a comment with what sort of items you think I'm missing or anything that you would take that I'm not, and be sure to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.